I'm really trying. Yeah, I'm really trying too, but your finger is all in my face. Stand up for a second. Just stand up. I ain't got no problem. She's the one with the problem. Wipe that smirk off your face. You have sex with men and women. Sleeping with 18 different men, and I see you got hickeys on your neck. Any particular reason why you want to join a gang? Because it's fun. I like to do crystal meth, smoke weed, pop pills. Don't you have respect for yourself? Shut up! Do you love your mother? A little bit. A little bit. Do you want to send me to jail? Yeah, I do. You take the one girl to jail already. I might as well take two. Get off my stage right through that door. Right there. Right this way, girls. Step in. Meet your new best friend. I bet I see a smirk on your face. I'm gonna get that stuff out of your hair right now. Turn around and you see that. I've been in prison for 16 years. You is soft. Shut up. Welcome to hell, ladies. I am the devil. <laughs>
I, I got kicked out of school when I was 13, and then ever since then it's what? Let me not been uh, now. Good. I don't want to yell at you. I want to know, at 13 years old, why did you make the decision to start using drugs? Um, because I started hanging. Out, I started hanging out with the wrong people. Well, okay. At let's school. start. Let's start right there. Why do you say that they were the wrong people? Because. Because you started using drugs. Yeah, because I started using drugs, and I started running away since I met them. I started getting cars with boys, thinking I can do whatever I want to do when I was 13, and then I first got arrested when I was 13. And so, what did you get arrested for? For running away, except for running away from the cops. At when you were 13, what what drug did you use at 13? Um, weed. And when did you start using these heavier drugs? 14. 14. A year later. Mhm. Mm Tell me about the night that you overdosed. Um. Well, I was hanging with my friends, and we decided to go to the store at Jackson Pills. So that's what we did. We got the pill, we went back to her pad. You stole some pills. Yeah, we stole some pills. We went back to her pad, started taking them. I took 26. Jade, sit down with me. Talk talk to me. Please. Please sit down and talk with me. Um, I took the pills. Then um, I started getting really sick. I started throwing up everywhere. You took 26 pills. <laughs> Maybe 27, 26, 26, 27 pills. And, and, you, and you almost died from it. Honestly, just tell me, you did that, and you woke up the next day, and you lived. What did you feel about doing that? Nothing. I didn't care. Why don't you care? Don't you, I mean, honestly, don't you want to live life? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't care. I still don't care. I still take pills. If your mother someday has to come down to a hospital instead of talking to a doctor, the doctor's telling her that you're dead. Think about it. Your mother, you, you love your mother, don't you? Yeah. Do you think your mother loves you? Yeah. She told me she loves me, but she's annoying. She talks Excuse too much. Me. Excuse Sorry. me. Sorry. She talks way too much. She needs to shut her mouth, like, every day. Stand up for a second. Just stand up. I'm sorry. I'm not going to tolerate it. it. Even You're 15 house. years old. You want to smirk and you want to cuss your mom out and be disrespectful. We're going to see how tough you are when I take your ass to jail. Welcome to hell, ladies. I am the devil. What do you, what do you want out of life? What do you want to be someday? I don't know yet. Did you ever have any dreams of being anything? I want to do hair, but I don't know. You want to be a hairstylist? A little known fact about me, I went to beauty school when I was your age. You did? Yeah, I did. My mother With was... With no hair. <laughs> <laughs> I had long, beautiful hair when I was 15 years old. Are you lying to me? No, I'm not. Did I... you braid it every day or what? No, I blow dried it. <laughs> and I thought that I'd be blow drying it forever. And then... About 10 years later, it just started disappearing. <laughs> honest God, that's the truth. And honest to God, I went to beauty school when I was 15 years old. I didn't want to go. My mom made me go. But I'm saying at 15, I know you have this hard edge to you. And I, honestly, I'm looking at you, and you might have some friends, like you said, the wrong people. And I certainly don't think you want to hang out with, like we talk about gangs. They rob, steal, beat people up sell drugs and kids I and know. adults and kids and adults died because of it and I know y y listen be yourself you say you have friends oh they like ju juvie and it's it's okay not they all do. my friends but honestly y I think you're smarter than that I don't think you'd want for one second to have your freedom your liberty denied to you, you do you know some kids that don't do drugs that are good kids are good students are good members of their community? You don't know anybody? Well, because maybe you're just too busy hanging out with the wrong kids. <laughs> you know, I do the show, and I do yell at people, and I'm really hard on some people, and especially when they're older, and they're adults, and they've made the decisions they made. But you're 15 years old, and the thing is, you have your whole life in front of you. and we, Maybe we can change it. Maybe we can save you. And that's why I, I don't want to yell at you, right? I want to get through. 
I want to get through the skull and say, hey, wake up, man. You can be anything. You can do anything. Don't throw your life away for nonsense. I want to bring your mom out. <clears throat> Jill, you do crystal meth. I can't. I can't believe what you just told him. You've lied to me. I ask you about drugs all the time. You told me you've only done marijuana. <laughs> Why are you embarrassing me? Shut up, man. Listen, listen, please. But she doesn't have to cry in my face. Listen, I'm trying. I understand you're mad, but you need all the money. Listen to me, young lady. I'm trying to speak to you in a respectful manner, and I'm trying to give you respect right now. Just sit down. Listen, look at me. Do not tell your mother anything. You are a child, and you listen to your adult mother. Do you understand? You almost lost your daughter to an overdose. Stop crying. I you. have two children at home, and I, I see your daughter and the things that she says and what she wants to do, and I want to do everything I can to prevent it. Tell me exactly how does it feel knowing your daughter overdosed. That day was the scariest day of my whole life. She calls me up, and I just thought she had a stomach ache. By the time I picked her up, got her home, she was foaming at the mouth. And I asked her, did you do drugs? And she's like, no, I just have a stomach ache. And I was like, there's something wrong. And that's when she finally admitted that she had done this cold and flu medicine. By the time we got her to the hospital, literally, you guys, she was like this in my arms. She was foaming at the stop? mouth. She's but throwing she's doing up. All she's doing things. what you're doing, that you actually God. did it. She's just showing us how you did it. And listen, I'm going to tell you, st watch your mouth. Don't be disrespecting your mother. You don't have to yell at me. I'll stop talking. You know what? I tried not yelling at you, and if you're not going to listen, then I'm going to yell. But I don't want to yell. So listen to your mother. Don't disrespect her on my stage. Don't disrespect her at home. Well, then don't yell at me. Listen, stop swearing. Don't disrespect your mother, and I won't yell at you. That's your a promise. Your not belong in my face. You know what? I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Yeah, I'm really trying too, but your finger is all in my face. It's not up in your face. It just was. Don't you have respect for yourself? Shut up! Why do you talk so much? She, has, she never talks back to me, only because you're right here. Your finger's in my face again. Too damn oh, bad, young lady. Like, that's right, I'm gonna get, crazy, get crazy. Because I hear the way a 15-year-old talks to her mother. Am I far away enough now? Yes, you're fine. Okay, let me ask you something. Did you come here because you actually want to change your life, or do you feel that you're just going to be defiant the whole show and say, hell with you, hell with my mother, hell with everybody, and I, I want to go I'm out on the street? Obviously, I'm here if I need help. Do you I want help? I wouldn't be here if I, do if you I want don't help? need it. Yes, do you, okay. I do. Okay, then please be quiet while we listen to your mother's story. Oh God. By the time I got her to the hospital, um, we rushed her into a, like, emergency bed. Um, and, you know, she's crying. She's like, Mommy, am I going to be okay? The hardest thing was to sit there and hold her hand while they were putting IVs in her, and her heart rate would go, and then it'd flatline, and it'd go, and it'd flatline. And I'm sitting there having to tell my daughter, You're going to be okay. Stay strong, honey. You're going to be okay. She wasn't. I didn't have anyone. I couldn't call anybody. I didn't want to walk away from her hand. I was, af I was so afraid that I was going to lose my daughter that night, and I couldn't tell anybody. By the time they started hooking in IVs, we also realized that she had been tagged from her breast all the way to her navel. When we called the police... What does that mean? She had written 
people had written their names on her and their initials. <laughs> Why? Well, when the, it's not how it seems. When the police... Well, hold on, hold on a second. Mom, you tell me, why did they write their names on her? Well, when the police got there to get to take a report, I mean, I had... You know how hard it is to have to go in there and take a picture of your daughter covering things up just to take a report for a police officer? And he said that some of the gang members, what they do is they give them these pills to get them unconscious. Um, but they tag them, and when, the, when she hits the point of being unconscious, then they do something called the train. That's not if what I it was, though. I did not show though. up that day, who knows what. It was before it, I took the pills. I'm talking. But it was before I took the pills. You let men... No, if she... It didn't even see how... Well, I'm like, asking you. you. Before you took the pills, no. you let guys scroll no. all over you? A guy did it right here, and then a girl put her first initial and her last initial right here. It wasn't for no gain. It was, they did a bomb, it's called a bomb on your stomach. They did it on my stomach of their name. It wasn't being in initiated into anywhere. Don't you have respect for yourself, Jade? Why would you let someone... It was a girl! I don't care if it's Ugh. a boy or a girl. Have respect for yourself. Shut up! Please. Why do you talk so much? Because you're disrespectful. Okay, I get that this I'm disrespectful, that's why I'm this here. Okay, well, then you don't have to day. yell at me. You I don't have to you. yell at me. I get that you love me, but you don't have to yell at I me on TV. You are seriously annoying me. This, this is what I have to do every you. day. I get that you love me, but you ain't got to say it What like, do you go different. through every day? This, this. Oh, this is so this terrible. Language. You have a Shut mother up. that cares about you. I'll, Jenny, you know, I don't want to see you I'll dead. tell you okay, something. Okay, well, you don't have to try getting crazy with me just because somebody's see right you here. Dead? She is. She never talks back to me only because you're right here. I don't you never see you do. Dead? No, 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 no. I don't want to no. see you back dead. it up. Back you it up. You know what, Jay? Jay, do me a favor. No. Do me a favor. Stand up for a second. Just stand up. <laughs> you know. I, I don't get it, and I don't want to be one of these guys. I really don't want to be these guys. Oh, back in the day when I was a kid, I walked 10 miles through the snow. But I certainly had a father that would have whipped my ass if I would even acted 10% well, of what so. you're acting. You know, that's part of the problem. Your finger's in my face again. Oh, no, it's not in your face. Well, it's right you here. walked up. Hey, right here. you know what? Too damn oh, bad, young lady. That's right, I'm going to get crazy because I hear the way a 15 year old talks to her mother. I'm sorry, I'm not going to tolerate even it. Like this even You're at the 15 house. years old. I tried to be nice. I tried to actually sit down and have a conversation with you. And I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm talking to you civilized. But what I won't do is allow any child talk to their mother on my stage the way you do. The kids on here begging me that their parents are on drugs. And please, Steve, can you oh, help me? Because I want my mother. Your mother's here because she cares about you. She wants you stopping drugs. So you know what? You're way ahead of the ball game. Mm -hmm. What are you, some spoiled little brat? Yep. You think you're calling the shots? Do you yeah, really? Yeah, I do. You, you do? Yeah. What's that smirk for? Because I have a smirk. You got a smirk? Oh, that's real funny. Mm -hmm. I think I know how to way how to wipe it off your face. Do it. But do you, you think like you're just coming around and this, you're the first 15 year old I've ever dealt with? No, I've seen your show. Yeah. You think you're going to be real tough in jail? Yeah, you want to send me to jail? Yeah, I do. Okay, then that's fine with me. Oh, good. And with your permission, we can take her to jail? You have my permission. <laughs> You want to smirk and you want to cuss your mom out and be disrespectful. We're going to see how tough you are when I take your ass to jail. Welcome to hell, ladies. I am the devil. <laughs> I want my mom. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Tell me how this all, how did this happen with this 15 year old? You know, she's always been kind of a, a difficult kid, but, um, 
you know, years ago. Like, the, the Jade I miss is the one who was funny. She would dance and put shows on for us. We'd cuddle up and watch TV. And Steve, this was only a couple years ago, a few years ago. And I've lost my daughter. I don't know. And how like, did you lose your daughter? Um, she just started hanging out with gang members. Um, you know, caring. she said she, she said that there's she doesn't know any good kids. I don't believe that. I, don't I think know everywhere kids, there's child. some kids that say she lives with a good kid. My other daughter is no, she's not. Is a great kid. She, she thinks that so great. She works. You know what? No, if you don't listen to me, you will listen to me. I'm gonna lying. have you thrown off the stage. How's that? Well, then I can go off the stage if you want me to. Take her off the stage. <laughs> You ain't at home. Why isn't she in school? She refuses to go. She, she started as a freshman. Um, she was very defiant to the teacher. She started telling off gang members. Um, she was getting beat up every day. Um, at one point, she... Um, Why was I, she getting beat up every day? Because she, she would tell gang members off, um, girl gang members, and then they started beating her up. She just didn't know when to stop talking to him and didn't know, obviously, you hear the way she talks. And this is every single day. Her vocabulary has that word in it, every other word. How as a parent do you deal with that on a daily basis? Um, I mean, what, at what point do you say, you know what, I've been living with this too long, you've been doing drugs, you're doing all this crazy nonsense, you're gonna either end up dead, you know what, I'm gonna put your ass in juvie. I've tried to put her in juvie. I've talked to the cops. Calling the cops is a weekly thing at our house. She kicks in my bedroom door if she doesn't get what she wants. Um, I have to sleep with things because I'm not sure at what point she's going to go from zero to 90. It's, it's awful. It's a nightmare. So to come you don't home even get peace in your own house? I don't get peace. I come home and I'm just Do you ever like, sit down and try to talk to her? I do. Every single day I'm like, Jade, you want, you know, you want to do something? You want to go somewhere? I've offered to like, to, I've tried to take time to just spend time with her so we could find a better relationship. I've taken classes to try and help. I feel like I, I just don't know what to do. And every time I call the cops, she falls through the crack. There's somehow she just smiles and talks to them. And, um, you know, and she, make, she, she tells people she'll make up stories. Um, or if I tell them that she's crazy like this, then, you know, she'll be like, no, I'm not. I'm fine. Um, what do you hope to happen with coming here? <coughs> I just want her, I want my daughter back. I want that daughter that like, I, that just loved on me, you know? I want my daughter to be alive. I want her to have a future. It scares me when the phone rings when I'm at work and they bring me the phone and <laughs> then she's gonna be dead. That she, I'm scared that she's gonna have a future of drugs or she's gonna end up pregnant. You know, and I'm trying to raise her already. I'm a, I'm a single parent. I can't raise a baby. I'm, I'm afraid for her future. And I love this girl so much that I have gone over and over just trying to find things that I could do to help our relationship. I don't think I'm a bad parent. I don't think that I've put her, abused her. I, I've done nothing like that. And I don't know how I ended up with a child like this. Well, we've dealt with <coughs> children like yours before, and I think a bit of it is showing them their future, what, what is bound to happen to them, and then you go from there. You give them a taste of it, and I think somewhere down in there, there's something that, you know, she can be that good kid again. She could. But I see, I, like, but I just... Well, with your permission... Let me take your daughter to jail. You have my permission. All right. <laughs> you know, I, I actually tried. I wanted to talk to you and actually maybe get through here on the stage and not have to take you to Detroit and put you in that very bad situation. But you want to smirk and you want to cuss your mom out and be disrespectful for her. You want to sit back here and smirk while your mom's crying on stage. I'm not smirking, though. No. Well, I saw you smirking on stage. And okay. I see you trying to call the shots, okay, and telling me not to do this and telling your mom to shut up. Well, we'll see. We're going to see how tough you are in jail. 
We're going to see, I want to see that fierce attitude that you have. I want to see you have it tomorrow when I take your ass to jail. She believes anything people tell her. How come she doesn't believe in her mom? I'm taking you to jail, and you deserve to go to jail. Get off my stage right through that door. I've been in prison for 16 years. You hear soft. Shut up. My guest is Maribel. Maribel, why are you here? I'm here to get help from my daughter. <sighs> These two past years, nothing but trouble. And lately, this couple of months has been like tearing me apart and my family. And I have no peace. <laughs> I want to help my daughter. <laughs> I feel like there's no hope for her. What, are, what is she doing? She's been doing games, enjoying games, drugs, sex, uh, stealing, almost killing innocent people. She just wants to hang around with her homies and be free and no, have no future. How do you feel that your daughter, she was in a gang? Yes. She, she said she enjoyed this game like four months ago and then she stole a car and crashed and almost killed people and then <coughs> after that she said that she wants to get out of the game. The sad part that she's only 16 years old. And you were saying she almost killed innocent people? She stole a car. <coughs> she ran away. I called the police because she ran away. And then they called me and they say that uh, my daughter stole a car. And then a couple of hours later, police called me, said, we got your daughter, you need to come and pick her up. And I said, well, I already ran a runaway report. Why didn't you guys just take it? She goes, no, she's a minor, you need to come and get her. So I went over there and I find out that she crashed the car and she almost killed a 17-year-old girl and a pregnant woman. Who and were in another car or? They were the 17-year-old girl that she was just walking and the other lady, she was in a car in her parking lot. <coughs> and I don't know how these people are right now, because I'm afraid to find out that, I don't know, they're, they're alive or they're, they're, they're alive to be the same like they used to be before my daughter done what she done. And then your daughter, because of this, she did have some remorse then, right? Right. She and she wanted to get out of the gang? Right, correct. Tell me about that. Okay, after this happened, I say, Daniela, where do you think you're going to go? And she said, well, I want to get out of the gang so I can stop doing these things. So I say, let me help you. She said, okay. So I even took her to a place that she's supposed to meet the other gang members. And uh, they're supposed to beat her up. And they did, and I was like, Running you watched over. your daughter get beat up? No, I supposed to be following her, but I lost her because they were driving so fast. And I said, well, I'm trying to be close to you so in case that it gets real ugly. Maybe I can go over there and help you. And, but I lost her, and I was just like running around the neighborhood and praying for my daughter that she was going to be OK, that I hope these people will not kill her because she wants to get out of the gang. She was up until 2 o'clock running around, <coughs> and I couldn't find her. So I and went. And they jumped her out. They beat her up out of the gang. She called me 4 o'clock in the morning. She said, Ma, come and pick me up. So I jumped out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I went and picked her up. And I look at her, and she was all muddy and all messed up a little bit. And she said, my head hurts. There was a whole bunch of 
supposed to be fighting a girl to get out, and then she said it turned out that all the guys jump on her and kick her and beat her up. And since she's been out of she's been out of the gang for two months, any other problems with gangs? A couple of weeks ago, she told me that she was throwing the garbage outside, and this guy uh, took her against her will. She said and took advantage of her. And this guy, she said that she was talking to him for a month. And now after when he went with him, the guy told her that he was in a gang, in another different gang. So when I call her on the phone and I say, Daniela, where are you? Because she disappeared. Like, I look around and where's Daniela? Where's Daniela? I always had to watch her where she go because I'm scared. So I call her and she said, I want my boyfriend. And I said, well, is it me you left home? She said, sure, and she hang up on me. And she was gone for two days. And then I was just worried to death, like where she was, what she was doing, I hope she was okay. Two days later, my cousin called me and she said, you know, these gang members had your daughter and, and they're hurting her. And she wants help, she, she wants me to help her that because they have her against her will. And I was, I started shaking and I was like, no, that's not true. She promised me she was gonna change. That's what she been telling me all this time, but I think I've just been blind. I just- You think she's telling, lying to you? She's telling me things that I wanna hear. <laughs> what, what would you hope to happen today? I'm hoping that you might help me to, for her to open her eyes, to join her, to be a war out there. Don't believe anything people stand in her. Because <laughs> I think she doesn't love herself and she believes. And she meets these people in the phone or on the internet that she never really met her in person. And then they telling her all these things. And I just, she believes anything people tell her. But how come she doesn't believe in her mom? How come she doesn't believe me that I love her? <laughs> well. Let's and I don't want her to be her. No, I want her to save her pain. Why did she have to go through to a lot of pain? Well, you know what, Maribel? I will do everything I can to help you and help your daughter. Let's bring her out and hear what she has to say. Wipe that smirk off your face. Get off my stage right through that door. Have you been doing the, all these things that your mom say? Yeah. It's, it's just hard for me, even dealing with all the teenagers I've dealt with in my life, I find it hard to believe I have this young girl sitting on my stage that you're stealing cars and joining gangs and running away with men and you're gone and your mother's fearful of everything you're doing and you're selling drugs and you're stealing things. Tell me these things aren't true. They are true. First of all, wipe that smirk off your face. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you know, I know if my mother was sitting on a stage and crying about my actions of what I was doing, I would be embarrassed. I would be shameful. I would say, what the hell am I doing to my mother? Do you not feel these things? Really? You don't care that your mother is crying about you? That she's fearful of you? No. Are you just stupid or you're acting stupid? Yeah. No. Then if you can't give me a decent answer, stand up. <laughs> Any particular reason why you want to join a gang? Because it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, and I get to hang around with my friends. You hang around, the eh, gang's fun. I want to hang around my friends. Because they have your back for anything. They have your back for anything. Yeah. 
then you know very little about gangs. When, you're, when you go to jail because you committed some crime because you're in this gang, do you know who comes visits you in jail? Nobody. Do you think somebody's going to take care of your mother? You think your, your gang member friends are going to look out for your mom while you're gone, rotting away in jail? No. No. I'm told that you had to take the rap for the car accident because of the gang, right? Yeah. Great friends, huh? Take the rap. Stand up, people. Take the rap. No, but that's what we're supposed to do. That's... Says who? They said so. They said so. What about your mother? You'll listen to any dope on the street, but you don't listen to your mother? Who do you think has more interest in your well-being? My mom and my dad. Okay. So you're going to listen to some goofs instead of your mother? I don't know. I've had bad, bad guys and bad girls on the show. I don't look at you and say, oh, there's a menace. I say, there's a little girl. She should be in school. And I'll ask you, why aren't you in school doing the, you know, what you're supposed to be doing at 16 years old? Not sleeping with 18 different men. Beautiful. Do you ever think about the consequences of what you're doing? Yeah. And what are the consequences? You fill me in. Maybe I don't know. Getting pregnant and getting a disease. There's two good consequences. And you don't fear either one of them? Yeah. You're just not caring about anybody, anything. Do you love your mother? A little bit. A little bit. Why a little bit? Because she's always on my back ever since. Yeah, guess what? Parents do that because they love their children. They don't want to see them join gangs, doing drugs, and sleeping with a bunch of men. I know that. What does your mother do? Care for you? Cry for you? Try to get you out of a gang? What, what terrible thing is your mother doing that I'm missing? She don't let me... My, her and my dad, they're always telling me that I'm too young to even go to hang out with my cousins at the mall. Well, maybe they feel so. And obviously, by your actions, you are too young. You are too young to make decisions. <laughs> maybe if you acted a little more mature and do, didn't do the things that you were doing, maybe they would let you hang out with your cousins. But if you go around stealing cars and sleep with a bunch of men and you disappear, guess what? I'd be nailing your bedroom door shut. What gives you the right to flush your life away? Not to do anything with it. The most precious gift of all life, and you're just going to blow yours down the toilet. I really don't care. You don't care? No. You really don't? No. So you don't care if your life ends tomorrow? No. You don't care if your mother will then spend every remaining day of her life grieving over you? You don't care if you break your mother's heart? No. You don't? Uh, well, you know what, Mom? I'm sorry. This is going to be hard, but I'd like you to stand up, please. And I want you to look in your mother's eyes and just tell me what you told me. Mom, I don't care if I break your heart and if I put you in agony for the rest of your life. Tell her. I don't care if I break your heart and put you in agony for the rest of my life. Thank God, Someday, someday you will probably watch the show and you will really say, what the hell was I thinking? You're breaking my heart, Daniela. And I love you. And you know I'd do anything for you. I even told you that I will die for you. It's necessary. I love you, Daniela. You're the most beautiful thing for me. How about the fact that you almost took innocent lives? You don't have any feelings about that? No. You really don't care that you almost killed innocent people? You have no feeling about that? No. Tell me that's not true. Tell me you actually had feelings, you thought about it. But you would stop me from attacking your mother, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, so let's cut the BS. You do love your mother. A little bit. A little bit. Would you really care if you took a stolen car and you ran over a child crossing the street? No. You wouldn't care if you took an innocent child's life. Think about what you're saying. 
when I started So would it be right for me people? to do something bad to your mother, but you can go and take some other mother's child and you wouldn't give a damn? Yeah. Mom, you know, I'm taking one girl to jail already. I might as well take two. Mom, with, you, with your permission, can I take your daughter to jail? Yes. You know what? <clears throat> I hope that I can give you a little taste of what your life is going to be like. I'm taking you to jail, and you deserve to go to jail. Get off my stage right through that door. Right through.